Hi guys. Today I wanted to talk about some different propagation vessels that I use. So I used to um, just use regular mason jars, any kind of like bottles that I had lying around to propagate. I used to use like regular water bottles with the little, you know, the little necks on top. But I went from that to like doing more of like mason jars. And so like, like this where I would put a whole bunch of cuttings into one jar. And then whenever like I would recycle, if I, this is a actually Starbucks Frappuccino bottle, as you can tell, and I just kind of pull off the label and this is another way that I would propagate. So um, there are some other ones that I bought on Amazon that I thought were really cute. So for example, it's this, these two right here, this one and this one on the side, those are bulb vases. And I thought those are so adorable and they'll look really good on the shelf or, you know, on display. Uh, in actuality, they're actually harder for me um, to propagate. I actually prefer this technique. So more of a test tube setup. And um, it also like reminds me of when I was actually like in working in a lab. So it's really cute too. And it's a little bit more stable, I think, than one of these. So here I can go over and show you this setup here. So what you have is you have this one bar right here, this, this metal bar that goes through the, th the three bulbs, glass bulbs. And with that, there's like these little rubber, like rubber band pieces that hold them in place. But the problem with that is that when you put it, put the plant in, it's very restricting. There's not that much space to kind of like put the plant in. And then when there's a lot of roots that have grown, it's actually hard to take in and out, especially if it kind of intertwines with each other. Um, and also the water level can only go up to here. And if you have a plant that has um, a leaf that kind of hangs over, you can't push it down anymore. So it kind of, this is kind of limited to its space. And also this setup here is really cute. It looks, you know, the way it looks, the stand. But the problem is I actually lost the tool, the Allen wrench to kind of like screw this on. So this, uh, this nut right here, and comes off the screw pretty easily if you move it around a lot. Um, cleaning it is actually really, <laughs> really annoying too because you have to take the whole bar off and take out the bulbs. And then when you take out the bulbs, they're not, you can't just lay them on the table. They'll just roll everywhere. So you would have to flip them upside down and make sure that, you know, they are you know on a towel or something. And then this one is a little bit easier to use. It's the same setup, same kind of um, pros and cons with it, uh, but it's easier to take off because it's just one piece and it's one bulb versus there are three in this one and you have to kind of pull it out. So that's this setup. So going back to the test tubes, what I like about this is that, um, let me see, it's kind of intertwined. You can kind of stick it, stick the plant straight in and you can kind of push it down as much as you need. There's no restriction, there's no bar, no metal bar or anything. And then obviously it's still glass. So this thing actually is held by a piece of wood. So that actually makes it easy to see, easy to hold, easy. It feels more sturdy as well. So the one thing I like about plants, especially these these um, trailing plants, is that you can propagate them really easily. And here I have actually like five varieties. I have actually golden pothos, which they do really well in water propagation. This is a neon pothos. These two right here are the philodendron heart leaf. And this one is actually some cuttings from my friend Tao. She gave me um, her philodendron micans cuttings. And you can see the roots are really long. So actually I have one of them that actually didn't really root yet and it might not. And that's, that's the thing with propagations. Some of them will root, some of them won't root not all are successful and I just use tap water for these cuttings. It all depends on what kind of plants you have. I, these are the philodendrons and pothos and they do fine with regular tap water. I change the water out maybe once a week. I fill as it starts, the water evaporates. I just fill it up back up to the, the line here, but they're pretty easy to take care of and maintain.
So for these um, plants, all these right here, they actually stay in my kitchen. They actually don't get a lot of light. Um, and they've been doing fine. It took a couple of weeks for the roots to grow. I don't think all of them have roots. No, most most of them have roots. But I I think I've heard a lot of different things about it. Like sometimes put them in the sun, sometimes put them, you know, in the shade. Just, I mean, I put them kind of like in a shaded area and they do fine. I've also, I think I've had this one in the sun, but we, I also had different cuttings. I had neon pothos in it and they actually grew roots just fine as well. And I guess the concept behind like putting them in the shade is because the, you know, the part, the nodes that actually grow roots from it, like the roots are usually under the soil. So they don't really get a lot of light. So that's why they would grow better when it's dark. But I found that both ways that I've used, they both grew roots fine. But this might also be because they're easier plants to grow roots from. So that's that's pretty much all I have. And if you guys have any questions, just leave me some comments below and I'll I'll answer them. Thanks for watching.